In this video I'm going to show you how you can access the menus on a West N6500 controller. The first thing you'll want to do is hold the scroll and up arrows. Once it begins to flash, press the down arrow. We are now in the range alarm selection mode and there are three parameters input, control action and alarm type and this is where we can change their values to get out of this menu hold the down arrow and up arrow we're now back into normal operation mode The N6500 controller can be set up for type J, L, K, N and T thermocouples and RTDs. You can choose between reverse acting or direct acting PID control, reverse acting on off control or direct acting on off control. You can choose between high, low, deviation or band alarms for the alarm type. To get into the setup menu, hold the up and down arrows. Here we are, set point. Let's put it to zero. Alarm. set the alarm value there offset process variable offset value control output cycle time set point lock on or off and the alarm value enable feature or disable that's everything in the setup menu to come out of here hold the up and down arrows again there we go and now we can get into the other menu range alarm selection by holding the scroll and up arrows until it flashes and then the down arrow now in order to remove these decimal points just change one of the values in the setup menu put it back to where it was and now you can see the other decimal points have gone and if I come out of this menu There we go, the decimal points have disappeared. Okay, that's pretty much it for the N6500. As you can see, uh, there aren't as many menus and options as the Plus series or the CAL controllers. This is just a controller for those who want basic control without all those extra features. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the website wardind.uk.